I guess you are watching this video because your computer is running with an issue here as you are trying to open a program web recently installed. This server arrived. The problem can start because xcd audio one underscore one dot dll is missing from your computer. So a somewhat critical error and all you need to do is pause this video patiently and follow that method on your computer. Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Evolution. In this very short video, I'll be fixing this error within 3 minutes. So let's start. The first thing you need to do is open your favorite browser and search for xcd audio one underscore one dot dll. You can choose any result. I'm choosing the first one. This is not sponsored, but I'll put the link in the description. Here you can see if you download options based on the architecture and version. To know your architecture and version, click on start and search for system information. Here you can see minus 64 bit and I'm updated to the recent Windows update. So I'll be downloading the second one. I strongly recommend you to read this space. As the download complete, hit open. The downloaded chief has the DLL file in it. To move the DLL, first open this PC, local DXC, Windows, and find a folder named System32. This is the home of 32 bit DLL files. Then click on the downloaded chief, drag the DLL, and drop. I've already done this, so it is asking me to replace. And click on continue to give administrator access. Before we proceed, let's check if the file is placed. By typing the entire file name, you can see the file is placed in 32 bit folder. So, the job is done for 32 bit user. And you can go and restart your computer. Only if you are a 64 bit user like me, open this PC one more time. New volume C. Windows and find a folder name SysWow64. This is the home of 64 bit DLL files. And then similarly, drag and drop. Basically, the 64 bit users need to place the file in both 32 bit folder and 64 bit folder. Check this one more time. Yeah, the file is placed in 64 bit folder. So job is done. And finally, restart your computer. In extreme rare cases, if the error till occurs, you need to download and install the latest Microsoft DirectX and install your program again. And that's all. If you follow me step by steps, you will no longer have that problems left. Please let me know how you feel about this video. And do not forget to like and subscribe.